the latest from Space Weather. They're saying that the lunar lander is going to crash into Earth finally. It's not going to burn up in the atmosphere. And the CME is ready to hit Venus and Mercury. And this is, uh, the, the you can see also it may sideswipe Mars. Uh, this is the animation of it. Okay, from uh, today up to the 21st, 22nd. And according to Space Weather, the lunar lander is to crash into Earth. The Peregrine lunar lander, launched one week ago from Cape Canaveral, will not be landing on the Moon. After all, because it's had some problems with its fuel, it's returning back to Earth where it will re-enter our planet's atmosphere probably January 18. We do not believe Peregrine's re-entry poses safety risks and the spacecraft will burn up in Earth's atmosphere, says Astrobotic CEO John Thornton. The lander was doomed by a propellant leak, allowing it to re-enter will keep cis lunar space safe and clear for future moon missions. So we have to stay tuned for these updates. And also this is the animation showing us from uh, the 13th up to the 22nd, 23rd. A coronal mass ejection from the sun is about to hit Mercury and Venus. A spectacular CME left the sun on January 14. It won't hit our Earth, thank goodness. Instead, Mercury and Venus are in the line of fire of the CME. And this NASA model shows it's striking the two planets in quick succession. We have Mercury in front of Venus. Mercury close to the Sun, and you can see the orbits right there. The strike on Mercury, January 15, could ignite X-ray auroras on that planet's rocky surface, while the strike on Venus, January 16, will probably erode a small amount of its upper atmosphere. That's terrible, isn't it? Earth is not the only world with space weather. Can you imagine it would erode a small amount of its upper atmosphere? God forbid if that ever happened to Earth. And this is on Space Weather. I'll leave a link below for you for this. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.